The Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by BSF Canada and Invigor Hybrid Canola. Ustros here with realagriculture.com. I am back here today with another Canola School episode, and I have here with me Megan Van Kosky, who is a field crop entomologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada based in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. How's it going today? It's good. It's good. It's nice to be outside and the sun's shining. Awesome. So we may not be in a canola field, but right in front of you, we have some plants that are in the cabbage family. So uh, we're going to talk about scouting for cabbage seed pod weevil. Now farmers are out in their field and they're looking for the insect. What are they looking for? So the best way to look for cabbage seed pod weevil is actually to sweep for them. And so you're going to find them in the upper canopy of the plant because at this time of year, as the flowers are starting and the buds are coming out, the weevils are going to be laying eggs into the flowers and into the pods. So you want to sweep at the level of the foliage and the flowers and then check your net to see if you've got any cabbage seed pod weevil. They're pretty small, they're hard to see, and they like to drop and play dead as well. They're, that's a, a weevil trick. All weevils, if they're disturbed, they'll um, play dead and fall to the ground or fall away from where they are. So the best way to find them is, is with a sweep net. So what time of the day are you gonna be looking out for the weevil? Well, everyone kind of has a different opinion. People don't like to sweep when it's wet because it gets their nets wet, so to avoid the morning dew, but at this time of morning in a nice calm day or when it's getting warmer into that like 15 to 20 degree range, they'll be active and, and active in that uh, canopy area. So go out and, and sweep at that time of day. And really all through the afternoon should be fine as well. And time of the year, you said they like flowers. So do you tend to only see them out and about at flowering? So you're going to find the adults as the plants are starting to bolt and as they're starting to flower because again they are looking to lay eggs into the pods or into the developing buds. Um, so when you're looking for adults that's definitely the time. We, we go out to scout fields uh, for the prairie pest monitoring network when plants are or when fields are in that 10 to 20 percent flower range. And damage if you're seeing them feeding what can they actually do to that final yield number? Right so the adults will feed on the foliage so you'll find maybe some chewing damage on the leaves lower down in the canopy but the real damage to the yield comes from the larvae and they're actually going to feed inside the pods so you'd have to be opening up pods to try to find the larvae um, probably not the best use of time <laughs> Uh, so you're not going to find the larvae easily, but they're the ones who are doing the damage because they're actually eating the developing seeds inside the pod. And then at the end of their development, they chew a hole to leave the pod and that exit hole weakens the pod. So then you can actually have more shatter during harvest and more seed loss during harvest. So it, it's the larval damage that we're really concerned about for yield. Threshold wise, do we have any action or economic thresholds available for the weevil? So it, it's based on the sweeping and so the nominal threshold I believe is three to four weevils per, per, per sweep. Um, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Um, I'll double check my facts. But yeah, so what you want to do is go out and take uh, a certain number of sweep samples throughout a few different locations in your field, say 10 sweeps at at least four to five locations count all the weevils that you have in your net and work out how many weevils that is per sweep. And if there's more than three or four, then you want to maybe consider taking action against those adult weevils. Now you have your Field Heroes t-shirt on. So of course I have to ask, uh, what, what sort of beneficials are available out there for the weevil? That's a really tough question, actually. Um, there are some different parasitoids that are known to attack cabbage seed pod weevil, but they're really not well established here in Canada yet. Uh, there's one in eastern Canada, a parasitoid that's becoming more common, and we're kind of hoping that it moves west slowly so that it can have an impact on our populations. Um, aside from that, there could be some predators that would eat the larvae as they fall to the soil and get ready to pupate. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to protect those field heroes because even if they're not eating the cabbage seed pod weevil in your crop, they could be eating other pests in the crop as well. 
Okay, and is there anything else you would like to add? Um, no, uh, the, the weevils are small. They're really cool. They've got long noses, um, so they're pretty easy to pick out in your net once you have them. If you, uh, once you develop an eye for them, they're easy to see. Um, but they are tiny, so you gotta look real close in the net when you're, when you're sweeping for them, for sure. Okay, thank you very much. You're very welcome.